If you need help using machine, I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled How I Use Machine. I cover everything from how I start a beat to finishing the beat. The link is in the description below. So if you need help with machine, go check that out. Hopefully you enjoy the video. What's up everybody? This is DDS and today I'm dropping this video for all you guys who requested it. Shout out to everybody that checked out my Logic beat making video. If you have not checked it out, you shall see the link in the description or I'll put a card up for it as well. It's my first time making a beat inside of Logic and doing a beat making video. So be sure to check that out. A lot of you guys want to know how did I use machine and get it routed through into Logic. So that's what this video is going to be about. It was difficult to kind of figure out. I did a lot of searching on the internet, different types of advice and tips to send all that stuff to try and figure it out. But I eventually was able to figure it out. I stumbled upon one article and then it led me to a video and then the video helped me kind of figure it out somewhat because it wasn't working perfectly how I wanted it to work. So basically what I did was, as you see right here, I have a beat making template. You just go right here, open up the new track, make sure you're on software instruments, go to machine two, make sure you're on the multi output. If you don't even know how to get machine two up, you just go down here to AU instruments, go to native instruments, go to machine two, and then you'll see multi output. So once you click it, click create, you just wait for it to load. Shouldn't take too long. All right, so once you got that loaded up, you just go right here, open up machine. And for this video, I'm gonna just up open up a little kit that I put together. So that way I don't hold you guys up too long and I am gonna open up the pattern with it. So that way it will all just be set to go. So I don't even have to put nothing together. All right, so should be a little basic four sounds it shouldn't be too hard to do all right so first things first usually i make my patterns and stuff first so i have a pattern here let me go ahead and play it let me mute my tag i didn't mean to have that on so i mute that all right first things first you want to go right here click on your first instrument now click this button here make sure you guys see that change your groups output or your sound output to the whichever number it is in your group that's what i do so that way i don't get confused like this could be confusing because i do not have sounds going on throughout it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this up so that way it syncs up like that all right so like that will be four and this is going to be basically your auxiliary tracks this would be three this would be two, and this would be one. All right, so after you do that, you can close this out real quick, pull up your mixer, look for this little arrow, not arrow, the plus sign, excuse me, right on the channel where you have machine. So since I have four tracks, I only need to open up three other auxiliary tracks because this one will be used as one. So one, two, three, and that should be everything. Let me play it real quick. And what I like to do is I like to label my stuff so that way I'm not confused about it. So I just hit kick for this. I'm not sure which one this one is. Clap. All right, so now that I got that, I like to actually like turn these down real quick and this will also show you how it's all synced up. So like the changes you do here will impact how it sounds. So I'm gonna put this at negative 10, put this at negative eight, put this at, I don't know, negative 10, and then put it all the way over here just to be dramatic. <laughs> all right, so let me play it. I hear the difference already. You wanna highlight all of those channels right there and then from there you go to create track. All right, so everything is up here in your main window. Go back here, open the machine back up. All right, so what you wanna do is you go over to group, go over to your input, and then change your input to manual. And you leave it like this. And then what you do is you come down here to the title of your group. You're gonna right click and then go to group, MIDI batch setup and change it to MIDI notes. So once you do that, you should be able to just click here, drag it up, and then boom, that should be your pattern. Let's check it real quick. I'm gonna open up an empty scene so machine is not being triggered right now. So 
so it is routed through here and what i tend to do is i will build up my beat inside of logic with the different instruments and whatnot and then i build up my drum patterns inside of the machine vst because i love doing my drums inside the machine i don't even know how you would do drums and logic honestly but i just opened a machine i'm sure i could figure out how to do it but i'm sticking with machine the complete control inside of logic so from there different pattern that says that was pattern three so let's just go say i want to switch to this pattern you just drag it over here to the i guess the playlist whatever it's called i'm not really even sure what this main window is called so from there actually it just brought up my clap I'm tripping when I said it just brought up my clap, it brought up my clap because that's the only thing that's in that pattern. So I'm gonna bring up this one and I'm gonna go ahead and drag it over here. And then it should just play it out from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go like that, turn that off and just let it play. So yeah, that's how I do it. I know there's other ways you can do it like you guys could do it this way. I prefer not to do it this way just, just because I make my beats, um, the way I make them, I don't mix them inside of machines. So this wouldn't really work for me, but you can just click on this little wave right here and then drag the sound up here and I'll put it out as well. But for some reason, mine isn't doing it right now. Maybe because I changed my settings probably has something to do with it but you would just click on that usually and drag drag it over there and then that way it will work but like i said that wouldn't work for me there are other ways of doing this but this was like the best way for me to do it because i don't mind my drums being grouped together like that because i put my drum patterns together right here inside of machines so when i move them over it's pretty much how i want it at that point in time if i need to make a change i can always go back and then drag the midi back out so yeah that's pretty much it you guys that's how i routed my machine mk3 to work inside of logic so that way i could mix my drums inside of logic everything else i built up outside of machine i did um my sounds everything was used with complete control but when it came to the drums it was all machine so that's how i got it to work hopefully you guys found this video helpful if you want to know anything else about how i'm using logic or trying to learn everything about logic drop a comment below i'm enjoying this whole thing of learning a new daw outside of just mixing because like i said before i use logic to mix but never could get into making beats with it like even with this like maybe you guys help me with it like if i just want to delete this for a second and bring it back is there a way that i could just have like the clip without having to like what i usually do is i had a stuff just stacked up over here it's not gonna let me do it now i don't think well anyway even if it does i had a stuff stacked up right here started building up over there then i come back and delete it because i'm taking everything and just going like let me copy this over here copy this over there type thing so maybe you guys can help me figure that out as well but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if it was helpful let me know in the comments below and just so you guys know i am not leaving machine some people thought that i was leaving machine i'm not leaving machine i, I just made a beat in machine a few minutes ago <laughs> but i just like this whole setup of trying to learn something new and then on top of that one of the reasons why i started using logic was because someone told me that like i was having some cp cpu issues excuse me using machine where if I opened up a, let's say Omnisphere, if I had two or three different Omnisphere instances open, it would start like tripping, but I could do that inside of Logic and don't have any issues. So that's kind of why I'm using it now because I can build better sounds, I feel like, and do a lot more with it. So that's all, but I'm not gonna lie though, I do miss using the machine when I be trying to use Logic, like just the machine software, cause I be flowing through it, but I'm like, I'm trying to push through and get good at this, DAW so that way I can fly through it as well so I appreciate y'all watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comments below you all have a wonderful day take care